Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of Tech Talk. And as you guys can see, I have Gingerbread running on my HP touchpad. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It is the Cyanogen mod version of Gingerbread. It's finally been released to its first alpha stage. And for an alpha, it's extremely polished. I'm very impressed with their work, and I can't wait for the final release. The Bluetooth currently does not work, and some apps won't install, and some apps install and, you know, will crash and or won't run properly. So you guys just have to play around with that and find out which ones work and which ones don't. Now, I'm not responsible for anything that may and can happen to your device, so please don't, you know leave nasty comments if you didn't follow the instructions correctly etc so the first thing you guys are going to need to do is click on the first link in the video description and it's going to take you to this page right here SDK PDK download so scroll down and make sure you download the correct file for your correct system so 32-bit Windows users download this 64-bit users click here and for Mac users scroll down a little bit and download the image file here and once you have that downloaded go ahead and install it to your computer and then what you're going to need to do is click on the second link and download this folder right here which has five files in it disregard the novacom.exe file so once you download this go ahead and delete it so it doesn't confuse you guys just get rid of it you don't need it and once this has been installed you're going to want to open up your computer and locate the folder the HP WebOS folder so for 64-bit users you're going to want to click on program files x86 32-bit users click on program files and locate HP WebOS right there and you're going to want to extract the Acme installer files from the zip into the HP WebOS folder here. You're also going to want to open this one up, the update-cwm tenderloin1012 zip and extract the UI image clockwork mod. So you should have these three files right here in the HP WebOS folder. Now once you have that you are going to want to connect your device via USB and put it into USB mode like that and then open up your HP touchpad in Windows Explorer and you're going to want to create a new folder CM install like that all lowercase and once that has been created open it up and you're going to want to take these three zip folders here Moboot the update CM 7.1.0 tenderloin full of bugs and the update CWM tenderloin 1012 zip leave them in zip form and drag and drop into the CM install folder that is on your device that you just created you're then going to want to eject your touchpad from the computer You're then going to want to restart your device. Go to Settings, Device Info, Reset Options, and Restart. So once it starts to restart and it goes completely black, you're going to want to hold the volume button up. It's still spinning. Once that goes away, hold up on the volume until you see that right there, the USB logo. You are then going to want to open up the command window. Uh, Mac users, you're going to open up terminal and you're going to want to navigate to that HP WebOS folder where you dragged and dropped those zip files so
Now once you're there, you're going to want to type this in. Novacom space boot space mem colon slash slash space caret capital A C M E I installer so Acme installer and then hit enter and once you do that you will see a whole bunch of coding on your touchpad so the gingerbread is being installed now this may take a little bit so just be patient until it boots up into the gingerbread which should look like this and that's it you now have gingerbread ported onto your touchpad now if you hold down the home button it comes up with options as power off reboot screenshot choose profile airplane mode silent mode back menu home if you do reboot you can reboot it recovery or reboot to webOS so if you want to reboot to webOS click on that hit OK and once it starts to glow like that you know that it's booting back into webOS so please rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my links for swagbucks and Dropbox and until next time guys cheers